The Netherlands was the focus of the latest country briefing held by the Dubai Chamber in partnership with the Dutch Consulate at the Chamber's headquarters on Monday, the 24th of October. The Netherlands has recently climbed to a seventh place ranking in the World Economic Forum report, and Dutch businesses are regarded as highly sophisticated, innovative, and aggressive in their harnessing of new technologies for productivity improvements. The Netherlands has typically been very strong in uh, fishing, trade, um, banking, but also in foodstuffs, um, technology. And I think in today's day and age, innovation is what it's all about. Nanotechnology, green energy, waste management, water, and everything that revolves around that. I think those are, in my personal view, the key focus areas for the Netherlands. The briefing included prominent speakers from a number of business councils, agencies and private companies who provided detailed insights into the current bilateral trade and investment opportunities between the Netherlands and Dubai. Highlighted were the existence of some lucrative opportunities for Dutch investors in Dubai in renewable energy, green products and services and the rail sector. Well, to compete internationally, um, you have to really focus on uh, those areas which you feel that you are not just good in but you're better in than other countries because um, as I said for international competition being good is not good enough uh, you have to be better I mean these days um, uh, major projects will be executed by international international bidding so you, you, you're not competing with your next door neighbor you're competing with firms which specialize in the same fields as you do so you have to be really good and I, I think we're basically building on uh, the, the things that we have been doing well for many years but and tr still trying to improve upon which are uh, things like uh, water management, land reclamation, agriculture, agro-food industries, um, certain aspects of transports and, and, and logistics which as a trading nation we have developed over many hundreds uh, of years. And there are also uh, the, the more modern uh, branches of industry like uh, the uh, chemicals, biochemicals, which we try to, to develop in certain niches. We're also we're not a very large uh, country, so uh, we have to uh, think uh, well uh, where we are going to focus, <laughs> and we have to think well where we are going to put our limited means to be able to, com to compete internationally, not just now, but also in the future. Um, yeah, Future Pipe Industries was established in 1984 in Dubai, so this is really our home base. Um, we were already licensing some um, technology from Waven Repox in the Netherlands for a number of years. Then the, that company became for sale and we acquired it. Um, and it was a really nice complementary product to what we were using already within the GCC market. Um, and it also opened up a new um, industry and applications of our product overseas. Yeah, so there are a lot of synergies between operating here and operating in Holland. We see a very, very high quality product, a lot of technology expertise. And actually today our product engineering division is split between Dubai and Holland. So we do use the best of both world worlds to, um, to develop our products further. Um, in terms of challenges, you do have a very different types of leadership style when you go into Europe. Um, we are coming from a very entrepreneurial um, Dubai-based organization, coming into a, um, a more systematic type leadership approach um, in Holland and that caused some challenges but I think through dialogue that the, the company was really able to, to foster the relationships to really create synergies and to take the best of world worlds to, um, to create a fantastic um, foothold for us in Europe. If we're looking at the Netherlands and what makes it a great place for investment it's the similarities. We've got the same open mind set it, where it comes to trade. We've got the same high standard, high standard infrastructure, um, great technology, innovation, um, the general attitude to doing business.